We'll rant and we'll roar like true Newfoundlanders. We'll rant and we'll roar on deck and below until we strike bottom inside the two sunk. My question is this: Wouldn't any new monies be best spent on helping claimants as opposed to harassing claimants? Mr. Speaker, when will this government take responsibility and establish a full and independent inquiry into Canada's search and rescue system? The calls were being directed to a Rome-based non-profit organization that's been described as, quote, the soup kitchen of telehealth. Mr. Speaker, the entire New Democratic Caucus went to my home province of Newfoundland and Labrador earlier this month for a caucus retreat, and they all got the T-shirts. My favorite T-shirt has a young child asking their parent what they did to fight the Conservatives. New Democrats have an answer to that question. Every Canadian needs an answer to that question. <laughs> the number one quote from the town hall in my riding regarding the Trojan Horse budget bill is this: "Quote: The Prime Minister doesn't know his arse from a hole in the ground." Mr. Speaker, the question is this: Why is this government so set? On punishing seniors, and by the time taxes are removed from her paycheck, she'll barely have enough to pay for, new, for diapers. She won't have enough to pay for diapers, Mr. Speaker. Why is this government punishing new mothers? Now, don't get me wrong. The $25 billion shipbuilding contract is a wonderful thing, but it's not the be-all and end-all for Atlantic Canada, and it's cer certainly not going to help every nook and cranny in Atlantic Canada, places like Newfoundland and Labrador. This, this matter could be cleared up right now if the minister will stand up and explain what happened. Will he do it now? Yeah. The number one issue in my riding is seniors, people living on fixed incomes, people trying to make ends meet. It's now been 67 days since Burton Winters went missing and his family is still waiting for answers, Mr. Speaker. 67 days, rhetoric doesn't cut it. Mr. Speaker, the people of PEI deserve better. The question is this, why is this government refusing to be accountable? Mr. Speaker, will the defense minister stand up and take responsibility for this failed policy, or will he continue to allow his department to make senseless decisions that put the lives of mariners at risk? The Treasury Board confirmed that the Secretary will be using numbers from the U.S. Department of Defense that were made public last March eight months ago. Why didn't this government release those numbers in 60 days like they said they would? They've already hidden $10 billion from Canadians. Mr. Speaker, when will they release the real numbers? Will the Conservatives work with us, the New Democrats, students and their families to reduce student debt? Mr. Speaker, the Public Service Commission ruled that this poor patronage broke the rules. So why is the defense minister's former aide still drawing a salary and living expenses from Canadian taxpayers? So if the Conservatives are so confident that the Public Service Commission report backs up their claims, why don't they re release the report in full? Businesses in Atlantic Canada haven't suddenly lost their need for support. The Conservatives have lost their willingness to support Atlantic Canada, except, of course, when it comes to the patronage trough. Mr. Speaker, consider this an invitation. Will the minister come with me to these outports to explain to the people why the Conservative government is abandoning them? Mr. Speaker, proposed Conservative changes to the employment insurance system will disproportionately hurt Newfoundland and Labrador. Nearly 80% of my province's EI claimants would be targeted because they've been on EI more than once. The most important recommendation of the Wells Inquiry was for an independent safety regulator for the offshore oil industry. An independent safety regulator, not the oil companies themselves, would be the best judge of justifiable risk. Mr. Speaker, my perspective on this motion is a Newfoundland and Labrador perspective. In that light, I begin. First, the fishery, now the fishermen. The Conservative government is attempting to eliminate all opposition and all opposing opinion by eliminating the information at the source. Welcome to the Con Age, Mr. Speaker. On behalf of more than 2,500 Newfoundlanders and Labradorians, they ask that the Government of Canada reinstate the funding necessary to support live music recording at CBC Newfoundland and Labrador so that our regional voice will not be silenced and our music, our culture, and our history will continue to be heard.
Thank you. Newsflash, Mr. Speaker. Too much spin makes people sick. We'll rant and we'll roar like true Newfoundlanders. We'll rant and we'll roar on deck and below until we strike bottom inside the two.